Welcome back. Gambit Esports versus Alliance. First game of the upper bracket playoffs. Top lane, Ogre getting low. Tusk and the Snowball that you might be able to bring down the Ogre first. Poison attack. Not gonna bring down Ogre, but Puck will fall instead. So they trade the support for the core overall. I think that does favor Alliance Nico. Mine. This tag team is doing work, but here comes Hanskin. It's a great fish. are gonna block him in. Has Snowball available if he needs to use it, but he should be fine. He'll just rotate, wait for that to expire. Oh, maybe not. Great Fire Blast stack as well. The body blocks hits him with the snowball, but unable to get around this big old boy. And you're in the mid lane, Naga Siren. Unable to get these mirror images off. Will finally, but she has no health and limp snags her with one more swing from his big old tree. GPK is farming so well. This is nuts to me. He hasn't been pressured out of bot lane at all. He has just stood here the whole game. Mid lane, there's gonna TP in though. Viper in a lot of trouble. The coil will get snapped. The roll in from Tusk. They should be able to get this kill, no problem. GPK secures it. Bottom lane, Dream's just chasing Hanskin. Hanskin's gonna be the one to find her though. Oh, well, there's the ensnare into the into the uh, mirror images. Is Hanskin just dead? Oh my god. No, he's got blink, he'll be fine. And there is the Song TP. She's going to be out just fine. Top lane, Sasha hits the two-man coil connection. And finally, the Primal Split, the one we've been waiting for all game. But Ogre Magi already dead thanks to the tag team combination. Static Storm going to buy him some time. But the Snowball pulls them all inside. FNG baiting him around. And all that's left is the Earth Panda. And it dies. What a save. Bye. To fight it right they do know it's happening they have the mango tree right here in the corner so they have all the vision in the world and here comes puck there's the coil connection and ogre is just dead on the back line to the naga siren she comes in with the song disruptor's not here in time so he will just have to get the snowball to try and stun them up the fissure on the back line there is the kinetic field and the static storm capturing two brewmaster will fall unable to get that primal split nico baby artillery from the back lane but here comes gpk just doing so much damage just wailing on him limp the last hope here for alliance the blink echo connects onto the life stealer can they bring him down he's super low he's living with barely two hp and he's gonna survive make it to the shrine a glimpse back limp now stuck next to this naga siren and there is nothing you can do here old or triple kill for a dream and this is going to be a free Roshan for the side of Gambit. Might be going out here a little bit too far. He blinks up forward. He should be fine underneath the tower, however. And on the top side, Coil snaps. It caught Nico, baby. There's a primal split, but GPK already secures that first kill. Here comes the Song of the Siren. Not Disruptor, again, not here for this fight. And they disengage. They're going to try really hard. Tusk here. Yules up. Sentable. Yeah, Yules up for the time being. They will get purged. And he gets the blink off as a result. Just stunned onto the low ground. But they really need to try and bring down this life stealer. Eco Baby as well as the Tiny feeding into him. But he's just not losing any health. And there's the Static Storm. But it doesn't really connect onto anyone. The Echo Slam catches the Naga Siren. She's starting to fall low. But pops the Satanic. Tusk snowballs her up to try and keep her alive. Here comes the rest of the Gambit lineup. And they're just chewing through the side of Alliance. They're starting to fall here pretty quick. Limp on the run. They brought Nico Baby down to Fada. Barely any health. Stunned up on the puck of multicast. They found him. I don't know how this fight went so bad. And that's the Aegis expire on GPK. 33. He's going to fall. But GPK, uh, he'll be able to TP on out of here. No way to cancel that. That's... That fight looked terrible, but Nico Baby just did so much damage. It's pretty cool. Top lane, Sasha smoked up. There it is. The Quirrell connects onto the Viper, and this is the Ag, so he is stunned for so long. And the ring comes the rest of the Alliance squad. Green here should be able to pick this up, and he will on the backside of the fight. Yule's connection onto the Earthshaker. The Infest Bomb. They bring down to Viper on a dieback now, but they're not willing to chase up there, it looks like. So, DPK slowly, I mean, not even slowly, just massacring this top tower, it turns out. The help of Naga's Iron. This should fall pretty quick. She does just commit. Oh, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. The double 
ultimate coming out from the side of Gambit. They will bring down two, both the Ogre Magi and the Brewmaster die. Buyback immediately on the Ogre, but Tiny. Oh man, that's gotta be the end of the game. Finally, I mean, we said they hadn't really gotten that combination off all game, but it finally happens here, going on to the high ground push. And the GG is called. Gambit take game number one here pretty easily, honestly. 22,000 gold lead, this Naga Siren and uh, Life Stealer, which is completely untouchable. Game number two, Alliance versus Gambit. Pretty nice. Or what's the percentage? 20%? Alright, well, bottom lane Doom goes down. That's gonna be our first blood. Turns into a little Doomling in the jungle here. Just trying to protect the lone druid, but Hanskin might be a little trouble. We'll have to uh, go ahead and commit the leap forward. Lamp getting really low. Fada just gonna chase him down. We'll be able to keep the life for a little bit thanks to that living armor, but I don't think he's getting out of here. The Bloodlusted Ogre, he's too much to deal with unless he gets the root. No, gets him with the Fire Blast, just in case to secure it. The Blink forward, the stun into the arrow. If they bring down the bear a second time, this is huge. They will body block it up. The armor, not going to be enough. Nico Baby gets his second bear kill here before the five minute mark. They've stunned up the Doom. He's getting super low. They have a lot of chase here as well. They might be able to just bring him down the Blink forward. One more auto attack. Nico Baby gets it. They will lose Marana in the process, but be a massive threat. Op lane, FNG getting brought low by 33 on the Legion Commander. He's just tanking up all these creeps. In comes Dream though, and Adaptive Strike in the last hit. There you go. Head of, of literally every other person in this game. Arrow connects on to Doom after the Fire Blast, and that is another last hit. Killing spree for Nico, baby. I don't really know what they're doing here. Oh, they just commit the coil. I'm assuming he just leashes, or he just breaks this, right? Maybe not. Okay, yeah, he dies anyway. I would have expected him to just leap immediately and, and take the stun and try and get on out of there. GPK will just orb up to the high ground. Here on Gambit, they want to rotate to the bottom lane, use the coil here, play around these outpost timings. They know their morphing is going to get topped, so Alliance, I think they know this is happening. They're a little trouble. We'll go ahead and pop the spell shield, but a root as well as the silence. They bring down Nico, baby. The most important here on the map for them to find. In comes Limp rotating here to the bottom lane. They will bring down the tree and protector and be forced out. So they will not lose the outpost, but they lose the anti mage. Top lane, the drums are popped. They're going in. Limp. The avalanche, the toss. Hanskin with the arrow. They should be able to get this kill. Nice one. Nice find there for Limp on the tiny. Farming. It's just last game all over again. Both teams content with hitting creeps. And then eventually Gambit won this game though. Maybe not as uh, not as straightforward. Well, Marana's dead. Gets caught. But a great reinitiation here from the side of the line to bring down Doom right away. Morphling's teeping into the outpost. This could be a really good fight for them. Alliance? Gotta be careful. Soch though caught on the back line. They have the duel available. Gonna go through connects very easily. Morphling brings down the Legion Commander and he's looking for more. Limp. He's on the run now. They brought down three on the side of Alliance. Gambit. Gonna be able to find four here most likely. Huck blinks forward. Gets a great waning rift. Here comes the... Ooh. Oh, great. Ultimate there from the Anti-Mage, but unable to secure a kill. Or Ogre, because he has pretty good base armor already, but he's carrying a Clumsy Net and a Philo Stone, so he's got nowhere to really carry it. Mid lane there, speaking of the Clumsy Net, the will follow that up very easily. Anti-Mage secures that kill. Mobile nope. level 20 talent, giving him that uh, reduced blink cooldown, right? So it's what, two and a half, three and a half seconds. So he's super mobile around the map, has Bloodlust as well. It's really hard to find this hero. Mid lane there, ooh, not the toss that he wanted, but the coil from Puck, gonna be able to do work, and here's the Doom, unable to get that counter spell. And TH in a lot of trouble, rooted up as well. He should fall down here just slowly, and, and there it is. Dream secures with the E-Blade as well. They're looking for a toss forward. Tiny tosses back, some shenanigans happening here. They get the double kill on the Morphling on the other side. 33 caught once again by the Scambit lineup and GPK. I mean, he can chase here, I think. Connect with the dust. He blinks four. He's going to stay on him. Waning Rift attack. I'm not waning Rift attacks, but you know what I'm talking about. They got him. Yeah, GPK secures a dominating spree. This 
This is surprising. I thought this was going to be Alliance's time and Dream's going to find the Ogre Magi in the top lane as well. He has a Fire Blast, but it doesn't matter. He's got a Link. Oh my god. Does Fada just juke like a god? Uh, adaptive Strike. He's got him. Top lane. Smokes gets popped there on Limp. They do see him, but... And they get close the gap on the back lane. They found the Anti-Mage. The Doom connects, and in comes the rest of the lineup. But Anti-Mage is just beating into Doom. Might be able to find the kill. Just goes into his tree toss from Limp. Will be able to bring him down. GPK will have to back on out now. As they have gone in a little bit too far, and Anti-Mage is going to be just fine. It looks like Anti-Mage queues up the BKB instead of going for the Abyssal Blade. I think that's correct. Normally, it's like Abyssal Blade is like so solid. But in this game where there's a ton of Lincoln spheres, all right, that's hilarious. The Savage Roar into the Coil Snap, but on the back line, Lone Druid, yeah, he's, taking, he's taking a lot of damage here. In comes Morphling, the Fire Blast does connect, he's Spirit Vessel up, so he's not getting a lot of health back. Nico Baby has to retreat as he is getting low. The Overgrowth comes through, doing a lot, Train Protector, oh, the Morphling hits by the arrow, he can't connect. Wait, Nico Baby's not going for him. Oh, he has Aegis, yeah, whatever, okay, that makes sense. All right, Hanskin gonna go down here, looks like he's gonna be the only casualty of this fight. Dream picks it up with the E-Blade. He's gonna be fine. I don't think they know, but they have to expect where he might be going. That's the Shadow Blade on Doom. Ready to go onto the high ground. Limp scouting out. He will see them now. There's the coil connecting. They have Doom available. And he find him. There's the overgrowth. The anti mage is in so much trouble. And so is the tiny. The two cores of Gambit just getting absolutely pelted. Anti mage, the first to fall. The adaptive strike follows through. They bring down Train Protector, but Limp. He goes down as well. Triple buyback here from Alliance. If they can find these kills, it might be a way to come back here. The arrow connects. It does find the Lone Druid. He has ultimate available. They pop the Lincoln Spirit, but there's the Savage War. The Avalanche, the toss. They bring him down to catch Doom as well. Three kills so far. Dream able to dodge that clumsy net, but now he's getting brought down. Doom will buy back. The second coil of this fight comes through. Puck getting really low. Able to just get these auto attacks off. Snaps the coil, so anti is going to be stunned there for quite a while. He has dual available, not going to go, but they on the... I mean, again, they somehow found more flings. I don't know how he got caught back there. Did he get arrowed again? Peace. Alliance, they're the ones asserting pressure on the map. It looks like Gambit rotating up to the top lane. Fada. We'll see them here. They drop some sentries. He's got a gem now, so he knows what's going on. All right, they've caught the stomp. They get the kill. The Doom right onto the Anti-Mage. He's feared away as well. Puck grabs him on the side. An Anti-Mage easily brought down, but it is just the Aegis. They've got to be careful here on the side of Gambit. This may... They've committed a lot to find him here. There's a good Savage War. The Puck with the Dream Coil immediately perched thanks to the Legion Commander. She will fall thanks to that shotgun build from the Morphling to bring down the Doom. And now... Anti-Mage getting blown again, and he finally falls. 125 seconds, no buyback. Limp on the run, has cheese. We'll have to commit it. I don't think you're getting out of here, man. Gambit just doing so much damage. This Morphling, two farmed. The Puck, two farmed. I want to see how much damage this Puck did in this fight. Go ahead and walk onto the high ground. DPK. That's a Daedalus pretty much completed as soon as he wants it. They're just going to go for tier four to end it. Why not? Look at that. All right, they're gonna get the bear here, potentially. Oh, maybe not. The counter initiation here. Coil catches two. They turn their attention onto the Ogre Magi. They bring both of them down. The buyback from Marana. They call it GG well played, right? Like, you got nothing left in the tank. They take the base before the, the GG even goes through. Man, I don't know what to say. Like, this looked like it was Alliance's game to lose, and then they just did. So... Uh...